All right, folks, we are in Germany this week, and this is our rental car, an Audi GT RS e-tron, fully electric, never driven an electric car before, never been to Germany before. Mm. It's going to be a first on both counts. Fun trip. <laughs> I would like to see what it can do. After leaving Frankfurt and our new ride, the first stop on our itinerary for Southwest Germany was Offenburg and the Hotel Liberty. This former prison, dating back to 1845, was remodeled into this very modern, contemporary hotel, blending many of the old elements with new. A truly unique hotel with so much history. Check out this prison cell over here. Check in on one of these inmates, see what he's up to. What are you doing? <laughs> the Liberty boasts an excellent bar scene and restaurant in what was once the prison courtyard. Somehow, and without any fanfare or notice, we were upgraded and treated to the rooftop suite. The very spacious design with handmade custom furniture does not feel at all like a prison cell. Let's take a quick tour, shall we? A little powder bath as you walk in. Dining area. Bookshelves. And then into the bedroom. These shades open up so you can see the stars at night. Here's the main bathroom, the soaker tub, and a nice shower. What do you think? Is this going to work for a couple days? Three nights. Let's do it. Are you reading German? Are you cheating? Cheating. <laughs> Our first official German restaurant in Germany. And it's all in German. Imagine that. Okay, we are just leaving Offenburg and we are on the Autobahn uh, headed down to France for the day. Time to move to the left lane, baby. Strasbourg, France is just across the border, so we decided to try some French cuisine for breakfast. All right, here we are in our French cafe experience. Madame Julia? These are pancakes. And these are pancakes with beef tartare. Bon appétit. Okay, here's a fun little tutorial of how to find your car if you don't remember where you parked it. As long as you have the driver's or the uh, license plate number, select English, always helps. Type in your license plate number. Doesn't hurt to take a picture of your car, especially if it's a good looking car like ours. And there we are on level five. Exactly where we parked, 536. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Now it's time to pay for the parking. 
Hopefully we have enough time to leave the parking garage. <laughs> Yesterday when we were checking out, we apparently were in the parking garage too long and then we had to go and get another sticker. Now you need some money. Save it right there. There you go. Three euros. Good to go. All right, let's see how accurate the map was in finding our vehicle. Not ours, not ours. It says it's up this way. Ooh, the ceilings are low. There she is. A short one hour drive to the south is Colmar, also in France. This little town looks a bit more Bavarian though than French. All right, show us how you get some water there, Sky. There you go. How's it taste? <laughs> All right, so here's a public toilet. I've already used it, but it cleans itself after each use. I'm gonna show you what the, it's like all wet inside. Yeah, we're gonna waste some water, but anyway, this is what it looks like. You press this, or you don't have to press the button. Toilet seat automatically goes down when you get close to it. Come on. Not supposed to. I'm not gonna touch it, but the toilet seat is supposed to come down. Then you can wash your hands over here. You can see that it's all wet inside of here. Not sure why the seat's not coming down now because it did before. Anyway, uh, didn't try the toilet paper because I just had to pee. Then I was a little scared because I went to push it and it wouldn't open. So you have to press this button and come out. This guy's filming me. And it's cleaning it and drying. For dinner, we were back in Germany. All right, having some proper bratwurst here. Not sure exactly what that is called or how to pronounce it. Any idea? Well, that's amazing. That was some good eats right there. Oh my goodness, it was so good. Okay, so my initial review and initial thoughts on this uh, Audi GT e-tron. It's the RS version. It's very fast and not very practical but i guess a car like this isn't necessarily about practicality I'm trying to sit in the back seat Take a look. not too bad once you get in there actually is quite a bit of headroom not a lot of space for luggage basically two bags. We got one full-size bag, one medium-size bag, and then had to put another bag in the back seat. I guess we could have used the frunk, but we didn't try that out. Hey, if you weren't scared with me driving through the <laughs> mountains, <laughs> I don't see why you'd be afraid of taking this uh, little baby roller coaster down the hill. It's just a, it's just a small hill. Right? <laughs> All right, here we go. Heading up the lift for the coaster. You nervous at all? A little bit of nervous anticipation. Alone, yes. Alone, yes. It's the first time? Yes. Very simple. Push forward. Okay. To accelerate. Pull back. Okay. All right. Ready? Ready. Woo! 
<laughs> the video is not sped up. This is actual speed. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You can watch a clip of the full ride by clicking on the link in the upper right. <laughs> Sky went a bit slower, and eventually another rider caught up with her. Here she comes. It's okay. We both had fun, and Sky made up for it later in the Audi. Alright, so what are you saying? That Europeans do what? They don't cover up their entire body? Bottom half because if I pull my comforter yeah. up to my face, is this I'm why five, you're I'm five two? And this is why your feet are sticking out? I'm five two. It is an interesting concept. Whenever I get in the bed, the comforter is way down there and it only comes up to right here. Yeah, do they just want their top half open? I don't like it. <laughs> so American. <laughs> After a good night's sleep, with most of our extremities covered, it was time for a day trip to the birthplace of the modern automobile, Stuttgart, Germany. Porsche offers free charging for electric vehicles visiting the museum. The ultra-modern museum features cars from every era, including many famous racing vehicles and some of the most iconic Porsches many of us my age had posters of on our bedroom walls, like the 959 the Carrera GT, and of course, the 911. A trip to Stuttgart is not complete without visiting the Mercedes-Benz Museum. Free charging for electric vehicles is offered at this museum as well, which is much larger than the Porsche Museum. That would have been popular in Texas. First pickup trip. <laughs> Our adventure continues on to Erlebrunn, a small village 10 kilometers north of the city of Würzburg. Situated on the western bank of the River Main, where you may catch a glimpse of a Viking river cruise, or a barge making its way along its journey. This municipality is known for its vineyards and apple orchards. We stayed at the Meisnerhof, a relaxed hotel featuring a cozy restaurant and of course a beer garden. A free breakfast is included, and the rooms are a decent size. Got a wardrobe, kind of like a closet in the States. And a quaint little bathroom. So we're out for our little morning run slash hike and uh, noticed that pretty much everywhere in Germany, like the Autobahn, the pavement's really nice. There's not any, uh, it's not any um, potholes or anything like that like we see in the States. And the hiking trails, which they have tons of, and running trails, biking, you can tell we've been running. I've been running, the sky looks fine. <laughs> anyway, everything's really well maintained. And we're out in the country today, running along the River Main. Main? I'm not sure how you say it. Okay, so real world charging. We are at uh, 4.9, almost 5 kilowatt hours. And we have gone from 170 kilometers to 190 kilometers in range. So about 20 kilometers for a 5 kilowatt hour charge. And we're ready to roll. All right, we got an extra 20 kilometers for uh, five kilowatt hours. Take about 30 minutes. Yeah, something like that. Not sure what exactly this level charger is at. It's probably around, uh, I guess that would make it 10, 10 kilowatts an hour if it was 30 minutes. <laughs> it's a little slower than the other one. I could feel my electric range anxiety peaking as we made a day trip from Erlebrunn down to Rothenburg, about an 80 kilometer trip. This was our first opportunity to use a public charging station. Today we have a lesson in how to download an app and charge your vehicle. We have no idea what we're doing. Start charging and pay. I don't, we don't want the app, do we? Oh. We only have today and tomorrow left. Yeah. 
I say we just pay straight up. I've already clicked off of it, uh -huh. but it gave me two options, 1401 and 1402. Okay. And it actually showed that 1402 was already in use. Okay. And then after we're done here, we have to do our parking app, or not parking app, but um, our parking space, which we have to pay for over here. Okay, and this is on the right side is a faster charging adapter than on the, I'm, I'm sorry, not the right side, but the driver's side has a quicker charger than on the passenger side. This one is uh, a level two and the one over here can actually go level two and up to level three in the charging language. We're plugged in over here. This guy's gonna plug in over here. That's the top one. That's a different type of charger. I think that's type one. You just have to yeah. use muscle. There you go. So let's see if we're uh, green over here yet. It's white, flashing white. I think you pushed the button top. Oh, I have a smiley face over here. Okay. I'm, I'm flashing white. I think they there we go. Now I'm flashing green, which means we're charging when we're flashing green. And then if you want to double check that you're charging, you can look here. Charging active. This is how you open up the frunk. And it's pretty much the only place. There's nothing else. We had to look it up on YouTube how to make this thing work, but there's nowhere else that you can actually press buttons or anything like that. So then you, there's a little lever here. And then we have a plethora of charging cables from the rental company. I'm using the one that came from Audi, which is the gray one. So we don't look quite as touristy, I guess. <laughs> there are many areas that are considered low emissions zones in Germany, which require a green sticker to avoid fines. Of course, our car was equipped with a green sticker since it has no emissions, so no worries there. Rothenburg has a ton of history, along with a medieval wall around the city which was built in the 13th century. It's well worth at least a day trip to check it out. Did you bring any hot tar to pour on people from the wall? Isn't that what they did back in the day? Are you fresh out of that? I think we can get up right here. I think they had satellite dishes like that back in like the 13, 14th, 1400s. So we're getting ready to do a little hike and I uh, noticed something about the rear of this car. It looked like it had an active spoiler, which uh, according to YouTube, it does have an active spoiler. So check this out. Okay, so we're in this little town. Uh, I'm not sure how to say it. Would you like to try? Schaffenberg. A Schaffenberg? All right. It's on the bottom of the screen. Not real sure if we got that one right. But uh, a little hike right here um, before we go back to Frankfurt. And after the hike, they have a beer garden. All right, here we are at the beer garden. We got, of course, beer and a pretzel and we will be using some of this mustard on the pretzel. Okay, I'd like to make a complaint <clears throat> about how packaging is done in the United States because here, you tear this, you tear the tip off of this thing and it actually has this little section right here that just comes out perfectly. Why can't we do that? And that's Holman's. And it's Hellman's. Yeah, why can't we do that in the States? Why do we have to, like, fight it? Perfection. Hmm. Leave it to the Germans. How's it feel to be driving 100 miles an hour on the Autobahn? You like it? I do. It feel like it. No, it feels like 55. Yeah, well, it's only 100 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> you need to be doing, like, 150 to not be passed. Okay, so keep left. Our first uh, Audi breakdown <laughs> issue with this car is that it's not making any sound for uh, pedestrians. As an electric vehicle, the vehicle actually makes noise on the outside that sort of sounds like a motor, so you don't run people over. Apparently, it's not working at the moment. I wonder what floor we're on. 
here we are at the last hotel of our stay. It's a little bit smaller, as you can see. We're in the city of Frankfurt. So typical to a bigger city, you're gonna have a smaller room, unless you wanna pay the big, big bucks, which we don't do. But it'll work nicely. Okay, you gotta make sure we go in the Einfart and not the Ausfart. We returned our rental car once back in Frankfurt, since the city has plenty of public transportation options, as well as shared ride services like Uber. If you stayed with us to the end of this video, we thank you so much and ask for you to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our next adventures. Until next time, signing off from Frankfurt, Germany, we'll work to travel. Two for one, nice. <laughs>